Hey, I'll do it. Mm. Yep, I think that tall one gets leather pants. Put them on there. Put them on there. Like I said, uh, you remember Dickie Chandler saw him in Texas. First time I've seen him in Here back to call the Alabama County Board of Supervisors meeting to order for September the 19th, 2022. Welcome everyone that's in attendance. Glad to see you here. And uh, at this time, we'll have our Pledge of Allegiance, and then we will remain standing for our invocation by Mr. Hope. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Heavenly Father, we... Uh... Thank you for your grace and your mercy. We ask that you uh, just be with us here tonight as we uh, go through this, this meeting on behalf of our citizens and give us uh, wisdom and um, to consider all the sides of every issue and to uh, make decisions that would be pleasing to you and our constituents. Um, just uh, be with those in our, our community who are sick and battling disease and uh, just heal them if it be thy will. Be with those who've lost loved ones recently and keep us safe on our way home. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Graciously, happy to have our local sheriff and Sheriff Simpson has requested to appear before the board to discuss. Blue Ridge Regional Jail Authority. Sheriff Simpson has public safety concerns for his deputies and having to transport inmates to our campus. They would like to gauge the board's support to address his concern. Thank you, Chairman. You're welcome, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I'd like to present you all with uh, a brief update on some developments at the jail authority and kind of lay some groundwork. Some of the newer members on the board may not realize all, how we got to the point we're at. And I think things have changed to the point where uh, it um, requires us to look at the agreement again. So what I'd like to do is give you all a draft copy from the 2007 release that we entered into as a county. So as you see, this is titled a draft, but the verbiage is the same as the one that was signed. If you go to page two, section paragraph four, uh, the paragraph that I'm going to be referencing was the one that was cited to me uh, recently. Um, to bring you up to speed, the Blue Ridge Jail Authority consists of physical buildings in Lynchburg, Amherst, Halifax, Rushburg and Bedford. The Bedford and Rushburg facilities have gotten to the point where they need some major renovations. And the jail authority has verbally agreed to move forward down that path. Um, bid space is not so much an issue at this point. It's facility age and the necessity for updates. That being said, the consensus of the board and the chairman was to renovate the Bedford and Rushburg facilities and make them more of a receiving facility where an arrestee would be brought in, processed, and then if they don't make bond, they would be sent to either Lynchburg or Amherst to be held. Logically, that 
it sounds reasonable. It sounds you know like a a wise thing to do. The problem I have with that is we've been doing this for eleven years. We've been transporting inmates to Lynchburg and Amherst, and we don't have a receiving facility here. So if a person is arrested, the deputy has to stay with them. It takes them off of the road. They're not answering calls, and it really reduces our manpower. Some nights, you know, we can have it's, – it's not impossible to have both deputies tied up on an arrest. And, you know, that basically leaves no one working the county um, until somebody gets – the inmate up to Amherst. Rushburg and, well, of course, Campbell County and Bedford certainly made the argument that they want their facilities open. I agree with them. They should have their facilities. My point is if we're going to invest in the Rushburg facility and the Bedford facility as a jail authority, I want some investment here. And what I'm before you is to get your support in, in my endeavor to do this. Um, this is just kind of an informational time for me to present this to you, to tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'd like to hear any concerns anyone has. Uh, anytime if something develops and you have concerns. Uh, quite frankly, I did get pushed back immediately from at least the chairman of the board about trying to invest some in our facility. Um, you know, financially, the, all I'm asking for at this point would be to get on the agenda of the board and have our building included in a study just to see. Let's see how much it would cost to have a receiving facility here at our old jail, whether it's construction of an addition, renovation of our current property, whatever it's going to take, where we can bring someone in, have them processed by jail staff, have them go before a magistrate and held until they're either transported to Lynchburg by jail staff or, or out of the system. Um, another problem area that has been since 2011 is a magistrate system. We are in a different judicial circuit here than Amherst and Lynchburg. They're in the 24th, we're in the 10th, and that really compounds our problem in that if we make an arrest, we have to go before judicial authority in our circuit before we can take them to Amherst and Lynchburg. It really compounds and complicates these issues. So all that being said, I, Judge Puckett is 100% behind me. Um, he wants, he's been wanting this to happen for years, as have I. I think this is an opportunity that we need to take advantage of um, because this is going to be a problem that's only going to get worse. You know, 10 years from now, it's going to be worse. 20 years from now, it's going to be worse. Our numbers have increased. Our responsibilities increase for mental health, calls to service, all these things are increasing. And we still have this, this really, it's, it's a anchor pulling us down on every arrest and that we have to leave the county to take the person to jail. Um, and it's tying our officers up for an hour plus. Um, and we don't have the magistrate here. Uh, just a, a, a poll of time. You know, our, we have a physical magistrate in our building and I would put on record saying less than two or three times a month where someone is actually in our building working as a magistrate. Um, just for a multitude of reasons, but the, the facility is part of that. And, you know, I, I really think we need to look forward to trying to renovate and have a receiving facility and a new magistrate office in our county. Um, like I said, all I'm asking for for you is just your support and potentially in the future um, you know, some action possibly to, to make this happen. Uh, anyone have any questions? Oh, Sheriff, this uh, Mr. Cooper, Ms. Adams, uh, Mr. Kemp, uh, now there's another appeal. Mr. Sheriff, too late to add, if, if it's true, add this to our uh, facility space in our
If not, yeah. if the board agrees, let's just get this all over. Would it take DCGIS to make that decision? We're not asking for more bid space. That's how DCJ, Department of Corrections would have to approve more bid space, but that's not what we're asking for. We're just asking for a receiving facility managed by Blue Ridge. And that's that's where they referenced Section 4, where we gave up our jail responsibility for them. So I think it's going to take a change in the agreement um, and support from, the obviously, the jail board to accept this responsibility. But, we, you know, we obviously we all would need support from the county to, to move forward. So it sounds like to me it's, it's so integral in that that needs to be taken care of prior to what I just said. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I think it's a lot of a lot of things will have to happen. But, yeah. But it needs we need to start somewhere. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hope. It, just uh, to make sure I understand, we're the only jurisdiction in the Blue Ridge Regional Jail Authority that does not have a holding cell or a, a temporary holding facility in their locality. That is correct. And you're not asking for overnight stay, you're just asking for something to put somebody in and hold them until they can get transported, so you don't, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. And I'll keep you updated. Um, you know, I can come before you at any time as far as any movement or lack of movement as far as the Blue Ridge Board's concerned to, to try to make this, this happen. Well, we appreciate you coming. Thank you. Telling us this, and, you know, just like you say, it's a safety. Yes. Safety subject, no question about it. Thank you. I think so. Neither one of them is complicated. Good. Whereas the Board of Supervisors of Appomattox County desires to discuss in closed meeting the following matters. Consultation with legal counsel pertaining to actual or probable litigation with such consultation. Open meeting would adversely affect the negotiation or litigating process of the body concerning the landfill lawsuit. Consultation with legal counsel employed or retained by the public body regarding specific legal matters trying to provision legal bikes for such counsel concerning the transfer station. And whereas pursuant to sections 2.237 of A7 and AA of the Code of Agreement, such discussions may occur in closed meeting. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Board of Supervisors of Appomattox County was hereby authorized discussion of full state matters in closed meeting. Need that as a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. aye.